Welcome to Trapping with Blake. Today, we're gonna set some traps on the farm. So it is November 21st, and I'm gonna set some traps today. So I don't know if there's ever been a time where I haven't set traps on opening day. Um, for me, trapping season starts November 10th, so I'm a little behind, but like no one's buying fur this year. So I just felt like coming out here to set some traps today. And today we're just going to be trapping on the farm, doing some coon trapping. I'm going to try to get a lot of mink sets out because last year I went the whole year without catching a mink. So that was kind of disappointing for me. So I really want to get at least one mink this year to skin and tan myself. So the grain bins are over there. There's corn spilled everywhere. And a lot, and there's some coons that live around here in the barns. And right here, there's a super faint coon trail right there. And it goes up along here, so I got me a Duke dog proof right here, and I'm gonna stake it down and set this, set it in that trail. So right here, I got that coon trail. So I got my rebar stake. And I'm gonna set the trap. The bait I'm using is cat food, marshmallows, and some field corn. I made this bait last year, and I never even used it, so. I'm surprised it, it's still good, surprisingly, so I'm, it still smells all right, so I'm gonna put some in the trap. Then I have a white cup. This keeps the rain out, and it also, it's kind of like it attracts the coon. It's, cause the coon can see this white cup, it stands out by all this ground, and the coon is gonna be attracted to it. So just put that over top. So here's our first set, trail right here. Trap staked off. Boom, done. All right, so this is another set I'm gonna be doing today. So there's a coon trail coming right through here. There's a little tunnel right up in here. And that's a perfect spot to put a 160 conibear. So I got a 160 conibear right here on an H stand and I just got it staked to the H stand. So we're just gonna tuck it right back in this tunnel right here. Cover the trap up a little bit. Take the safeties off, and that is a ready to go set for a coon. I'm trying to find some good spots for some mink sets. So I got two options right here on this little, this bank right here. First option is the mink are gonna be swimming right on, mink or muskrat, I'm mainly going after mink right now though, but I'll take a muskrat if we get it. So they're gonna be swimming right along this bank, and that's what they do, is they just swim right along the steep bank right here. And this is where I was thinking of putting a 110 conibear bear, right at this point right here right below this stick. It just looks like a good spot to tuck one up right here. So that's our first option. We come down about five more feet and this is my second option right here. There's a, you can see the little point that comes out right here. And when they come to that point, they're gonna hug the edge and go around and that's where you wanna put your trap right there. So I'm kind of leaning not towards putting one here because this grass, I think it's just gonna cover up the trap too much. Maybe I'll just put one both at both places. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do that. We'll just put two traps here, one right there and one right there. We'll see which one gets one. So this little stream right here has a lot of good spots for mink and muskrat traps to be set. It's just like a super good mink creek. You can just see, see like the, I don't know. It looks good for mink. That's all I gotta say. Um, man, that actually... It almost looks like there's a trail right there. A trail, do you see that? I'm sure muskrats are using that for sure. I don't want to... I don't really want to catch a muskrat though. Mmm. I do want to have a trap on this side though, in case they swim on that side. Alright, there's our four. I want to set four in this stream. So this is our first option right here. This is the first spot I'll show you. So I got a 150 Bridger Conibear on a brick and I'm just gonna slide it right up in here. Oh yeah, that looks like a good set to me. All right, here's a 110. Slide it right up in there. Get this grass to go over top of it. See that? Just right up beside the bank. Okay, that set should be pretty good. All right, there's bottom edge set number three right up there where that muskrat trail was. I decided to set one there. All right, here's set number four. That has gotta be one of the best bottom edge sets I've ever done. That just looks perfect to me. 
All right, just put in another super good mink set. Got this tree that's leaning over. All its roots are right up here. And there's a path that goes right under the bank under these roots and over there. So I stuck a 150 right there. That is a really good mink set. There's another one right there. Got this one in a culvert. And a 150 Kona bear right there. All right, let's see what we got to work with at this little creek right here. So right here, we have a bridge. And right here is a point. And at this spot, two years ago, I caught a mink and a 110 Kona bear right at that point. So I'm going to set a trap there. I think I'm going to set another trap here too. So right along this side of the bridge right here, my straight wall. And I've never actually caught anything here. I set a trap at this spot every single year and I've never caught a mink here or a muskrat. Last year, I set this big rock right here, so they'd be forced to swim right in here all year long. So hopefully they've been swimming right here all year. So I'm gonna stick a 110 right there. Hopefully we can get one there. And it is getting dark out quick. It's like not even 5.30 yet and it's almost dark out. I hate winter. I want it to be light out longer. It gets dark too early. I need... I'm gonna try this one out. This is like a, a Victor number 60, I think. Super small condom bear, but I think it'd be good in that little spot by the bridge where that rock was. And I want a bigger trap for that one point. We'll put a 150 there. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, there's the set by the bridge. Got that little number 60. And there's that other one right up against that corner right there. I am going to try to squeeze in two more raccoon sets at this really good trail. And then I think I'll call it a night because it's getting really dark out. So here's this trail right here. I was planning on setting two traps on this trail, but uh, it's getting pretty dark out. So I'm just going to put this 160 right here, right up against that bush. It goes right across the road into a ditch over there. So I'm pretty sure this is coons. There's also groundhogs living in here. I've seen groundhogs using this trail. I'm guessing it's mainly coon. So we're going to tuck this conner bear right up in this little tunnel. I really like setting these conner bears on trails. They're super fast to set. Like that just took a couple seconds. Yep, there's a car coming right behind me. Probably wondering what in the world I'm doing. Okay, that's good. I'm getting out of here. We got probably 15 traps out. I didn't film all of them. I did film most of them though, so. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll have some animals in the traps. So it is the next day and we're checking the traps. I actually already checked all the traps today and we only got one catch. And it was the trail by the bush. And we got a possum. Pretty big possum though. Pretty good catch. So I'm going to spend probably most of the day um, expanding my line, setting more traps. I won't film any of that because I'll just show you the catches for maybe a day or another day or two. Hopefully you get something better than a possum, but I'll take a possum, I guess. All right, it's day number two. We're going to go check some traps. It's day number two, and we got a nice looking coon right by the barn here where that trail is. That super faint trail. Not a, not the best looking coon, but he's not bad. It's a pretty mean one. Whoa, <laughs> that was close. Okay. That was so close to my hand. He about got my hand. All right, I'm gonna get this thing dispatched and I'll show you guys what he looks like up close. There's a coon right there. I just took him out with my brake barrel 177 cal, one shot to the head, instant death. Here's the remake. Um, the trail got pretty torn out. You can't even tell it was here, but um, hopefully there'll still be coon using it. That's my first trapped raccoon of the season. I think it was a male. All right, good start. Oh, I see something in the water. A muskrat. We got us a muskrat right there. I had a foothold trap right in that hole and I staked it out in the deep water so he'd go out there and drown. I also had a conna bear on a brick right here. So it looks like there's a trail coming right through here going around this. There was several muskrat holes along this bank but I was hoping to pick up a mink because that just looked like a good little pocket right in there. We picked up a muskrat. Oh yeah, first muskrat of the year. 
Nice catch right there. Pretty small rat, kind of average, I guess, but I'll get this trap reset. I'll show you the remake so you can see what I did. So there's the remake right here. Just got the trap right there. And up in that hole, about an inch underwater, so pretty good depth. I'm mainly going for mink. I've probably said this already. You know, there's going to be muskrats that are going to get in them no matter what I do, basically. So I'm still happy to take a few muskrats. They got really good fur and they're super good for bait. Basically anything will eat a muskrat. All right, we're at the last location of the day. So I had a 110 on a bottom edge set right there. And over here, I had a 160 and a trail for a coon. And we got a big squirrel, nice fox squirrel. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but it'll be some good bait, I guess. All right, I'll get these reset. We actually got two more traps down there. I gotta check still. Last spot of the day, not looking too good. Empty bottom edge right there and an empty kind of bear right there. So we ended up getting a nice looking coon, nice squirrel and uh, average size muskrat. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.